Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today, continuing on with the 31 days of Fabooween, and also this is another paid request from Leon Woodworth who wanted me to review all of the Lake Placid films, and we're going to be talking about Lake Placid 3 today. Which again, if you have not seen this movie, you're not missing anything. If you've seen the original, you've seen the, the sequel so far. Uh, you've definitely seen Lake Placid 2 and 3 if you have seen the original because not much is different. But you know that's the way that it goes in the big city, as they say. Um, but before I go any further, if anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request such as this, you may do so down below in the description box. There is a link to my PayPal account. No amount is too big, no amount is too small. It does not have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series or a cartoon or a comic book or a video game or music. Random thoughts and commentaries and rants and discussions and whatever you guys want to see me do here on the channel. That's what the paid request is for. Uh, so again, if you're interested in that, click on that link, send it in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. And for those that have sent them in before, I greatly appreciate it. It means that you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel, and you want to see me try different things. So it does motivate me to keep making videos as well. So it's a win-win for everybody. So thank you guys. But Lake Placid 3. Um, again, for whatever reason, I don't know besides money, they decided to keep making Lake Placid films. Now, the first film... It did okay when it came out. It didn't exactly set the box office on fire. And I'm sure over the years, the residuals from VHS and DVD and everything else have kept the movie going. Um, but for again, for whatever reason, they decided to keep making these. You only needed one Lake Placid movie. Now, I know that the first movie, of course, like a lot of other movies, not just horror films, had the sequel bait ending where Betty White was feeding the baby crocodiles. And that is a repeated gag throughout the film. That is, or films, I should say, rather. Because in Lake Placid 2 and 3, they reused that gag and they reused the plot point of the reason why the crocodiles keep showing up is because they keep feeding them. Which I know is as organic and as simplistic as it gets. But the idea of a sequel, whether it goes to theaters or it's straight to video or straight to streaming or whatever you want to do, the idea is to take what people liked about the first movie and build on it and try to do something different while keeping that uh, aura or continuity or whatever analogy you want to use from the original. And when you just keep making sequels that are the same as the first one, what is the fucking point? And it's not just Lake Placid. It's all these franchises nowadays because that's what they keep doing. Halloween Kills came out today in theaters and on streaming. I looked at the spoilers. I get why the critics said it didn't add anything to the story because it didn't. If you've seen any of the previous Halloween films, it's the same fucking movie. Trust me. Save yourself time. Save yourself money if you do go to see it in theaters. Save your time, or even if you have Peacock, you save yourself money and don't fucking watch it. But this is yet another franchise where they do that. Because the story is the same exact story as the first two movies. They go back to, now they try, what they tried to do is, at least for two and three, I can't comment on the next couple of movies because I haven't watched those yet. But for two and three, they did try to maintain well, the next movie definitely does that. I don't know anything past that. I don't know anything about versus Anaconda or Legacy or whatever the fuck the other one's called. Um, they do try to establish a continuity with these. But what's the point? Because they keep making the same movie. So this time around, it opens up. There's a couple skinny dipping in the lake and they get killed by the crocodile. Now, I saw the TV version. So, the version I saw didn't have titties. I was disappointed in that. And then the lady from the previous film, who was played by Cl Cloris Leachman, which I know I didn't bring that up, but whatever. 
her it's her nephew or whatever i don't care they come to sell the house the sheriff is actually played by michael ironside but he's not the lead and he gets killed and he's wasted but i guess they paid him very well to be in this movie i would have rather had michael ironside be the lead because I loved him as an actor. I've always been a huge fan of Michael Ironside's work. Unfortunately, he's in a shitty movie like this. I would rather have him as the lead and just shooting crocodiles and trying to blow them up. It would have been a much more enjoyable film. But of course, we didn't get that. Eh, you know how it is. But anywho, as I was saying, um, then you have the son and he's feeding the baby crocodiles and the movie jumps two years and the crocodiles are back and he keeps feeding them and that's why they come back. And then you have Yancey Butler. Yes, Yancey Butler from Hard Target and Drop Zone and Witchblade and many other movies. She is basically this crocodile hunter. and you th Spoiler alert, you think she dies, but she comes back in the next movie. And the rest of the movie is them trying to fight off the crocodiles. Big freaking whoop. It's the same thing that we have seen time and time again. And again, these were made for Sci-Fi Channel. Sci-Fi Channel, I guess, was able to get the money to put these together. And if you've seen a Sci-Fi Channel original movie, you've pretty much seen them all. Now, don't get me wrong. When I was a kid, I used to watch the Sci-Fi Channel religiously. And would watch a lot of these movies. Some of them I like. Some of them I don't like. These Lake Placid ones so far I don't like. Sue me. Dickhead. In the words of Arnold from Total Recall. But these movies are all the same. It is play which one's different. They're not. Horrible CGI. Again, I saw the TV version, so I didn't get to see any titties, which I'm disappointed in that. I'm not joking. But these movies are very bland and generic so far. And guess what? There's three more that I have to watch. But oh well. But anyway, I know this review is a little bit shorter than what I typically do, but you know, there's not much to say about this. If you've seen Lake if you've seen the original Lake Placid, the good one. There's no point for you to watch anymore because they're all the same. Well, what about Anacondas? Okay, you know, Sci-Fi Channel used to mash up those movies all the time. Boa versus Py Python. Uh, Dino Croc versus Super Gator and all that. So you're not missing much. You're really not. Save yourself some time and save yourself some money and either go watch the original or watch something else because you'll have more fun with that. Just saying. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of Lake Placid 3. And uh, next up, we'll, we'll be continuing on with Lake Placid, the final chapter. Yeah, right, because guess what? They made two more. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, take care, and I will talk to you guys later. See you.